There is an easy way to change the shape of an object in 3D like these tires of Mickey's car with an underrated tool called Lattice. Here's the rough model of a tire. I tried to make it look like the one in Mickey's cartoon. But don't judge my modeling skills here. And it's not a modeling tutorial anyway. So this is all one object. But it will work even if it were in many parts. Next, make sure your 3D cursor is at the correct place. That is, at the center of the tire. Press Shift A and add Lattice. Go to the lattice properties and increase the U, V, W resolution. In our case, only U and W need more resolution. 6 should do fine. Now go to your objects modifier tab and add lattice modifier. And pick your lattice. Now the object is ready to change the shape. But before we actually do that, select your lattice, go to shape keys and click this plus icon. This will create one basis shape key. The reason I created this shape key is because once you move the points of the lattice, you won't be able to go back to the default shape. You will have to delete and add it again in case you need it. Click the plus icon again, which will create a new key one. While it's selected, go into edit mode and move around the lattice points to change the shape of your object. Pretty cool, right? Once you are done, go back to the object mode and take a look at the shape key you just created. Now we need to animate this while keeping the deformed flat shape. But we can't move the object or lattice itself cause that won't retain the shape. So what I'll do is add an empty and make it the parent of both the object and lattice. Select your child first, then the parent, then press Ctrl P and choose Object Keep Transform. Do this for both, the tire and lattice. This makes the empty, the tire control, the parent of the object and lattice. What I want now is, whenever I move the empty in this direction, the tire should rotate automatically with it. And it is a pretty simple thing to do. My object should move in this direction, which is X axis. So I will select my empty and right click on the location X and select copy as new driver. Coming back to the tire, it should rotate on this axis, which is Y axis. So I will right click on Y rotation and paste driver. What I just did is, I made the location X of empty the driver of rotation Y of the object. Now whenever I will move the tire control in X axis, the tire will spin on Y axis. So cool, right? One last thing, if you rotate the whole thing with empty, you will have to change the local axis up here. So there you have it, now go and flatten your tires. You can find the link to the tutorial files in the description. If you found this tutorial useful, please give this video a thumbs up. If you have any tips, then please share them in the comment section. I will see you guys in the next video, till then, goodbye.